This is the new pressure relief valve. So if the pressure is too much in a vacuum system, this valve will open. So it will suck on the big part and open up the little part to re relieve the pressure in the system. These are the new cyclone filters. So you've got a cyclone at the top, cyclone at the bottom, and you've got a foam filter in the middle. Make sure your rubber seal around the uh, sides are all intact. Uh, you want to have good suction. Have the door to seal all the way down and turn the handle. Okay, so this is the new filters that we've came out with. This is the cyclone. This is the new foam filter. Right, so you just break this open here and you can remove the foam filter in the middle. As you can see, it's quite easy to wash. Best thing to do with base oil. Uh, if it's oil base or if it's water, just use a high pressure gun. Um, so much easier to clean versus the old filter mesh. Just stick it back in and then it will all just clip back together like so. Here is the new cyclone so these just pull apart into two parts so you can clean that side and this side and also onto the other one. So it's very simple to clean versus the old style cyclone and it just slots back in together. Make sure your cyclone door is a very good tight fit and also that the uh, latch here is tight if any adjustment is needed there do so. Just turn it, make sure it's got a nice tight seal. It's also the same with this secondary filler. It's not uh, recommended to open this while operating. So we can open it up when it's off. Make sure your rubber door seal is all in one piece and close firmly so you get a nice tight seal for the vacuum. It's also good to take out your secondary filters before any drilling. Make sure they are all in working condition, so you just pull them out like so and they'll slide out. Now when you're cleaning them, give them a good wash down with a high pressure gun and make sure the mesh is not damaged so the cuttings cannot get through down into the pet room, you want to contain it all in the shakers. This is the magnetic overflow hatch, so if your secondary filters fill up because your main filter belt is split, it will open up and divert the flow. You will also notice the red uh, indicator moves up and that's also how you can reset it. Just click it back up like so and that's it reset. Now to put the secondary filters back in, slot this one at half weight and take the second one you can see there's a nice groove on the end that will slot over to the top of this one and now you can push it in and the other one will follow and then it should just drop down uh, like so and that is the secondary filters put back into place now just close your hatch and make sure it's got a nice seal and close it over